yet so I'm about to take you guys with me to make probably like a sausage sandwich I have on just this little like bodysuit these sweats I had already got my toes painted but I didn't really like the color I'm going to get them repainted right now we're getting ready to make some meat I am back home. I was gonna take you into Target with me when I went, but I wasn't there too long. It was just a lot of people because of the holidays and stuff like that. You know how people just stare at you, so I was just like, forget it. I think the last thing you saw was the breakfast I made this morning. I don't, I don't click it like that because that's very painful. So I just hold it myself with rubber band. Saw me get my belly button pierced and that was just so sporadic like I literally just went looked up body piercing shops and found the one the most and best reviews they were the guy was so sweet so nice I first got my belly button pierced a long time ago but I just decided to get it done over I just got it done I want to change the earring already I want like a little hoop to do my own sometimes. I am going to do this color, this gold, and I'm thinking about doing adding this color because it's um, the holidays and I think I always like to do like a sparkle. Hopefully you guys don't hear this echo because I'm in the bathroom. But as a base and then this as a top, I'm getting ready to paint it on one of these small nails that I know I, it doesn't fit any of my nail beds. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute. If you like this color, I like the way that turned out. I like this color. It's pretty. It's giving me very much so holiday vibes and that's what I'm going for. I'm really just doing it my own way. 
I'm just doing it the way I do it, which may not be the best way for you guys. So, so I like to mix the crazy glue and the nail glue together. Typically, when I'm not rushing, I like to try on each nail just to make sure they fit. And the ones that go on the left hand, I put them to the left. The ones that go on the right hand, I put them to the right. But I'm not doing that today because I'm in a rush. So I am just gonna try each individual nail on and glue them as I go. Make sense? Okay. Put the glue all over my nail, just like that. And then I like to press the nail down and I like to hold it for a few seconds. Feels good to me. I like to push on the sides of it. It just makes it kind of mold more into your nail. Got me a little nail. Then I like to move forward. Guys, I'm all done. This is how they look. They look cute. So I'm happy with how they look. I haven't shaped them or anything. That's what I love about this kind, this brand. I love to get the medium one because I'm able to like ball a fist up still and I'm able to like do things. I feel like it just fits my hands really cute. I mean, they look classy like this, but I want to add a little to them. So I am going to paint them first with this base color. And then I'll be back to show you guys the final. So before anything, this is what they look like. Now I'm going to add the shiny gold. And I'm gonna just leave the camera on so I can show you guys my painting. I hope I like this. I think I am. It looks cute. So with the shiny gold, I feel like you have to kind of like place the shine. Ooh, that's pretty. Very like Christmassy. Before I painted them, but as I told you guys, this was not planned properly. I think I might do two layers so I can get more sprinkles on them. And the thing about this polish, I used this polish by itself once, the shiny one, and it was so hard to get off my natural nails. So just know you can't, it's gonna be hard if you try to remove and like paint your nails a different color. You might have to just buy a whole new set. If it was hard to move it off the natural nails, then I'm sure it'd be hard to move, hard to take off your fake nails, but this is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is the second layer. The more layers, the more sparkles you'll have. And I'm not more than two layers because I still want you to be able to see some of the gold, the gold base. So cute, so far. Isn't that pretty? And I'm right-handed, so if I look like I'm painting it weird with my left hand, it's because I am. Comment below and tell me if you guys like videos like this. If you do, I'll start doing like more like little videos like this, but this is a final product. They look so cute, very holiday-ish. I'm actually not going to use, I was going to use like a top coat, but I'm actually going to use this top coat, but I'm not anymore. I don't feel like I need it because this is a gel and it's just, it's giving me shine anyway. So I don't, and plus I'm in a rush, so I don't really feel like I need that. Okay, so. I should have took this out before I did my nails. Y'all see, y'all see what happens when you don't properly plan. Okay, so now I'm actually going to file them and I still want to like shape them. Sometimes I like to shape after I've 
painted them. But sometimes you use certain polishes and they make your nails look whiter than they actually are. Sometimes you have to shape after you're done polishing. That's not the case with this gold. I feel like this gold actually makes your nails look thinner. But because I didn't shape beforehand, I have to do it now.